Secrets and private demons emerge when a seemingly perfect young couple competes for a $5 million prize by isolating themselves in an empty white room for 50 days. No phones, no family, only the room trying to break their resolve. First of all, this movie has an intriguing premise. The potential is definitely there. Unfortunately, the execution is really disappointing. Despite an initially intriguing premise, the movie runs out of steam and doesn't take any of its ideas far enough. There is no setup or prologue as the movie begins with Michael and Kate making their entrance and getting acquainted with the intentionally dull location that they will have to endure for 50 days if they want to win $5 million. While the experiment begins with dreams of cash and expectations of simple living, Kate and Michael are soon targeted by the intensity of the situation, facing long days of nothingness. The movie takes time to understand the nothingness Kate and Michael are dealing with, which doesn't make for the fetting cinema. Due to the room's emptiness and nothingness, the film feels somewhat lethargic and uneventful. This could be intentional. Unfortunately, the script lacks character depth to find emotional investment and engagement elsewhere. The movie keeps the exposition to a minimum, which would have been fine if it doesn't lead to more frustration than anything else. Michael and Kate seems like pawns, both for the mysterious game's owner and for the film's plot. The couple's interactions are not particularly grounded in any kind of lived-in chemistry, especially as they are intercut with several montages that skip through much of their time together. They are given little to no backstory. Their dynamic ahead of their confinement is also left unexplored. That means their breakdowns as they begin to go stir crazy feel rather arbitrary. The relationship between Kate and her father, whom she speaks with through a video call, remains underdeveloped. By the time the credits roll, we are nowhere closer to knowing who they were as individuals, let alone as a couple. The movie is trying to make its points, but it also has 90 minutes to fill, leading to some sluggish stretches of tedious arguments that identify the true divide between the pair who expect to work together to achieve their goal. Perhaps that riff was already there before the couple entered the room, but it's hard to tell or to even care about any of the characters for that matter because neither of them come to life. Both main actors give decent performances, but they are undermined by the dull script. They are stuck with underwritten characters as they are trying to find the humanity and sell the escalating paranoia and stakes. As the film remains focused on Kate and Michael, we don't get much insight into the machinations behind the person running the show as well. In the end, the movie is undercooked and never delivers on the nihilistic premise it wants to capture within its white walls. It's a psychological thriller without thoughtful psychological observations. It's not only lacking thrills, it's also lazy and underwhelming. We do not recommend this movie at all. Thank you.